Hey guys, what's going on? It's Connor coming at you with a quick Cinema 4D tutorial on how to do a sick thrillsy effect. Now, you're going to see this effect at the end, and most of you will probably already know this effect, but I just want to bring this out to you, to these guys out there who are beginners in graphics. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to go File, Merge. Make sure you've got Lightroom. If you haven't got one, I'll leave this one in the description. Go Merge and find the .ia file that you want to drag. And I'm just going to use the Dare one because it's quite easy to work with. Make sure it's on one centimeter, one scale, group spine, the connect spines. If you don't know how to get group spines on, just un untick, connect splines, click on group and connect. And then there, then scale it up a bit and drag into position. Open open up the DIA file and drag out the path and delete the DIA logo. Now you could just merge them together, but because I want to be have that bit of different colour, we're just going to create two separate extrude nerves. and just drag it in like that then shift on all both of them and change the depth to about 200 to give it uh, a little bit of depth okay and then I'm just going to find that bit there and drag that onto there and that onto there so then what we're going to do is just going to go mode graph affected group and random to create the first little effect drag the random into the group and if you don't know how to do that just drag it so when you see that down arrow that you know it's in then do the same with the extrude nerves but into the random click on the random effect it, go deformer and point as you see that just completely changes it and just from there put the effector down as you see that gives it a bit of a ripple if you, if you want to see that again that's what it looks like without the ripple and that's what it looks like with this with sorry so you could just leave it as that and render it out like that, it would look quite nice, but we're just going to carry on and do the next bit, which involves the thrallsy. So make sure your extrude nerves are on, go plugins, thrallsy, and I'm just going to put it this time to 15 pieces, and click break now, it shouldn't take that long, like so. Then as you see the effect originally may have gone, just drag the extrude nibs back into the random and you'll get the effect again. So from there you just turn you can just tone down the effect a bit until you get this nice effect. Then what you could do if you want on the main part of the logo just drag out all the bigger parts of it. Just drag you could drag out some of the big parts of the logo just to give it a bit of a better effect if we can just find a front bit like that you can just drag them out like that but I'm not going to do that that's completely up to you depending on how you want to do that so just from there you can just play around with it a bit if you want to make it a bit more smoother you play with the weight and that will give you a bit of more smooth texture and everything like that so that's the end of this tutorial guys please leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already I'm Xenon and I'm out